What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Barbara Baby Doll here. And if you don't Where know, is your I know, Esteban? Oh my god, I sound like a robot. Y'all, please mm -hmm. excuse baby. me. I think I was going to be a baby doll. My god. All right, so today, as you read from the title, it's going to be a wash day. I already took out the Meek Mills that I had in my head for about like two three weeks now that i've had in my head what we're about to do is we're about to do a wash day i did a wash day routine before but this is going to be like an updated one basically on what i do now now that i have my twa i'm also low on certain products so there's gonna be different products in this video but i'm i already told you guys from previous videos the products that i kind of use my um update two month update on the products that i actually use for my video but i told you guys i told you i'm out of that product so if i use different products you guys know why leave me and i'm not only going to be washing my hair you guys are also going to be seeing me drying my hair back black because i y'all have noticed too i have blue in my hair because i dyed my hair blue but when i cut it before i cut it and did the big chops so i and now that it's growing out and it looks all nice and it's getting its length and everything i realize most of the length of it is blue and i know dyeing your hair back black does not make it healthy but i don't want blue hair especially if i want to do stuff with my hair like put it up in a bun and stuff like that and add the braiding hair and stuff and do those hairstyles for you guys as a video i can't really do that if part of my hair is still blue though my hair is like blue green brown my hair is like four colors in one and I don't like it. Before we get into this video, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified every time that I post. And let's get into the video. It look a little crazy underneath here. But yeah, we about to... I have my Kiss Temptation Jet Black Hair. Kiss Temptation Jet Black Hair that I'm going to be dyeing my hair with because I want my hair black. This, this will definitely cover up the blue. It should definitely cover up the blue. In an upcoming video that I'm going to show you guys probably in like, I might do it in like November. I'm going to be straightening my hair. I'm going to get a washing set so that like I can show you guys the actual like length check because it'll be like five or six months post my big chop. I think like five months post my lip chop, so I give my hair enough chance to catch itself. It'll be like a cute little bob or you know whatever everything, everything that's going on. You know my little TWA. Get some gloves and then we're gonna begin. <laughs> this looks so much better than this this looks teal and I we just gonna keep going in here and it feels like i use enough all right y'all this towel is now black and so are some of my fingernails um but yeah this is just a t-shirt i put over my head because my head was kind of wet but yes it is black now it i had to do it twice because like the blue is still kind of shining through it still kind of is like you can still kind of see it it's like a dark greenish thing up here, but you only see it if you're up close and personal in my head, and it's only towards the ends. Plus, I will be trimming as I go, so you won't really be seeing these like greenish looking ends that I have going on here. This is my rice water. Now, I've been putting on rice water on my head, and I'm going to give you guys a one month update. I've been doing another video that's coming up for you guys. I'm going to make a specific video pertaining to this, like what I actually do with it and stuff like that. So yeah, be on the lookout for that video so I can give y'all my full review and if it actually worked and everything else like that. I don't wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna It's empire. I want you to touch that, touch that. That's in the back of my again. Guys, if you guys ever try the rice water thing, it literally stinks. Like, oh my god, make sure you really do it before you shower or wash your hair and stuff like that. I'll go into detail in the other video, but it stinks. 
like I have the rice water sitting in my hair right now and I have a shower cap over my head and a t-shirt to trap in all the heat so that it deep condition and it sits in my head I'm gonna leave it in for like two to three hours even though it's late anyways it's whatever I have nothing to do tomorrow so I'm gonna leave it in for two to three hours and then I'm gonna come back to you guys alright y'all so I'm in my bathroom um I still have the rice water in my hair but you know I'm about to go wash it out right now and I'm about to do my wash routine with I got my shampoo and conditioner and I'm about to show you guys exactly what I do Ciao. so as y'all can see this is me in the bathroom I'm just washing out the rice water right now and then next, what you're going to see is me putting in the conditioner. I usually put the conditioner in first because shampoo tends to strip your hair of its natural oils. So I need my hair to be moisturized and stuff like that. And I just love the way conditioner makes my hair feel. I usually use that coconut milk conditioner that you guys saw in my two-month update video. But I had ran out and Cantu was the only thing we had left just sitting in our um, cabinet. So I was just like, you know what, let me just do it so I can get this video out for you guys. Um, but yeah, you're just seeing me put it all over my hair and then I take the shower cap and I put the shower cap on and I let it sit in my head so that it traps the heat while I take a shower and bathe the rest of my body or whatever. Okay, so this is basically after I'm done bathing my skin and I let the conditioner sit in for like 20 to 25 minutes and then I use get my clip and my wide tooth comb to detangle my hair into like little sections but i don't usually get like i usually used to do four sections when my hair was longer but obviously because my hair is short i don't really need like all of the scrunchies and stuff like that um and another thing and another tip just to let you guys know keep the hot water running i usually keep the hot water running because hot water and steam usually opens up your hair follicles so that your hair can really like take in all of the conditioner and the moisture and stuff like that so i usually keep the hot water running and i let it get steamy in the bathroom so that my hair kind of like detangles and stuff like that better and it's more moisturized shampooing but basically i'm going to explain to y'all what i did after i washed the conditioner out of the little twist um i basically took shampoo and then i just only rubbed it on my roots like how i did in my last wash video routine because you know like shampoo strips the oils and it makes your hair very dry so i only did it on the roots this is it freshly washed y'all when i tell y'all that rice water has definitely been helping but that's for my rice water video separate it has minimized the shedding that has happened to me on wash day. I usually shed a lot. It has minimized it a lot. So yeah, this is what the hair is looking like. I can run my fingers through my hair nice and easy. Now, what I'm going to take is... I'm going to take my Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Curl Repair Leave-In Lock-In Moisture. This is really good. This works good with my hair. Also, I have the Aunt Jackie's Intensive Leave-In Conditioner, but that's all the way downstairs. And your girl is too lazy to get up and go. And usually, I do like the lock method. I'll rub some of this on my hair. Then I'll take some of the tea tree oil, and I'll rub it over my hair after that. And then sometimes I'll usually leave it and let it air dry overnight. Or if I want to, I'm starting to think that my hair is long enough to do twist outs. But sometimes the twists don't stay. So I'm debating on whether I want to do a whole twist out video or not. It should take a lot because I want my hair to be nice and conditioned. a lot of oil oh it's dripping Ooh, i don't use a lot of oil though because i don't like my hair too oily plus i oil my scalp and no i don't use the same tea tree oil to oil my scalp but yeah i just usually massage it 
as you can see my curls are kind of there yes see so y'all can see I usually massage it then I usually take a bonnet put it on my head to go to sleep I usually do this earlier but like I was being lazy today but sometimes I usually just walk around the house and let it air dry you know so that it kind of like it keeps my curl or whatever in and then I'll put the gel on like for a little extra curl in it if I'm feeling extra I'll do the little I put a little gel in it and then do the sponge at night and then so that in the morning all I have to do is spray some water on it and like pick it to make it look a little bit more zhuzh and then that'd be good but um that's basically it that's what happens this is what i usually do for my wash day but i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment any other videos you guys would like for me down below or any questions you guys have bye baby dolls